invite a few people. Catcher 
on here with another piece. I like to turn mine over so you can still see the brand name of the bong on the piece. So it's kind of fun, it's a little different. So I know that as these box subscriptions were going out to however many people they went out to and everybody got this one fun piece, I decided to make my fun piece a little bit more fun. So that's some of the things you can do with your local smoke shops is to go in and, and expand your collection or expand your pieces based on some of the stuff that they have. It's Josh, right? Yes. Awesome. So Josh is here. Say hi, Josh. Hello. How you doing? So if people bring in their used bongs or their, their bongs, obviously, make sure they're clean before bringing them in. That is a big one because they are a smoke shop, not a cannabis shop. So please do not take your cannabis to the smoke shop. That would be really, really bad. Yeah, really bad. Yeah. So, let's take these two pieces off. What could you do with this bong? Well, um, you could add a lot of different attachments. Um, the best thing to add, though, would be a drop down if you're going to do like a rig or wax. Um, let's see. You see the same one? Yeah. Yeah, so this would be a drop down, and that would be mainly used for um, like wax. I don't have a banger with me now. Okay, let me grab one. Okay. your collection. So this, you put 18 banger on there. That would make it a really nice rig. So this is to convert it into an oil rig? Yeah. Yeah. Or you take that off and either, well, you would have to leave the drop down on there. Just make it a, put right. the ash uh, catcher on there with the bowl and it would just be a regular uh, flower uh, piece. Now is there a difference, do you know, if you smoke your your flower in the same rig as you smoke your oil? Well the flower is going to cause a lot more um, kind of build up with the resin um, and it'll be a lot harder to clean if you're wanting to use it as an oil rig. Um, I would definitely you know use the wax on the wax piece and then flower on the flower piece though. Right. But if you did want to use both you know it is possible. Okay. So, and then, let me grab that one. Sure. I've had a couple of people ask me to explain the difference on why such, what the difference is between a small banger, a small hitter like this, and a bigger one like this. Well, this one you're gonna have a lot more, um, it's pretty much your classic setup without a uh, perk. So, the percolator would be the uh, part that actually filters the hit. Um, this is gonna get like, well, it would just be like a really big rip. Um, there's not going to be really be too much of a filter to it uh, versus like another piece, which like this one, which oh, where we can see it further down. Yeah, and that's the down stem, which actually has the for the yeah, so we can get both of them there. Yeah. yeah. I like the ice catcher. Smoother and nicer of a hit. Yes. And then we have, did I leave it in the truck? The dab pin? Oh, like the uh, e pin? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I got it. You can grab another one now. Okay. So we're also wanting to talk about the e pins. I love the old school dab bongs, yeah. Oh, va volcano va vapes. That's actually kind of would be a cool subject sometimes. Yeah. If you had one. Yeah. They don't have one here. It would yeah. be cool, but. This one is, uh, this is the Evolve Plus. Um, it's made by the company Yocan. I'm not sure if I said the company name right, but. Um, this one's really nice. It's got a. Oops, sorry. It's got the dual quartz coil, which mm -hmm. kind of see it in there. Fire it up real quick. You can kind of see it 
turning red yeah. hot in there. But it heats up really fast, and uh, it's only $35.99. Cool. Um, yes. I have mine, which was made for me, which is kind of cool. Nice. It was actually made by the owner here. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, these are really awesome, especially if you're in public, because it hides the smell a lot better. Um, it, it's People don't notice it. People vape all the time, and you don't notice it out of these pens as much. Yeah, this one has a little container at, cool. at the bottom. A little dab. Yeah. Cool. So we have more of these over here, but one of the things that we were told was that you guys, you want to pull that recycler up? Okay. Have the largest recycler in Arizona. Oh, yeah. Um, so let's check out the largest recycler in Arizona, guys. This has got to be cool. Love this. Uh, maybe we should put it over here. Yeah. yeah. So here she is. Look at this beauty. This is the largest recycler in Arizona. Oh my god, you know how hard that is actually? <laughs> I don't think I could smoke out of that. It would be too difficult. So there's the banger. This seems super heavy too. Isn't that cool, guys? <laughs> I'm gonna run out of breath. So that is the largest recycler in Arizona. Woohoo! So, what about any other fun stoner toys? Um, well. That we may not have heard of too much or seen online. There's, uh. <laughs> uh, there's like, you know, just a lot of, uh. Let's see. Let's, let's see if, if the stoners can find something to talk about. I think we did. What the heck? Ah, okay. That. Uh-huh. Check out this sucker. That is a liquidizer. So? Explain this contraption to us. So this is made for, uh, I believe, blasting wax. Um, on this part right here, and this uh, adjusts and everything. And it presses down, which blasts the butane into the chamber here. And then that uh, ends up compressing it into a liquid form, which goes into the So do you put glass. the cannabis in the container before you put yes. okay. the, the butane into, on? Yeah, the metal chamber there. OK. Yeah. And then it blasts it out into the bottom. Yeah. And then cool. you would just have to um, pretty much uh, leave the butane kind of, there's a lot more uh, process to it than um, I'm aware of. But yeah, I'm sure. Most people have those jobs, though. Yeah. So, so there it is, guys. Uh, we'll be back again sometime soon. Haven't been feeling all that great today. So I am going to call it quits for tonight, but I am going to come in and I'm going to do the giveaway later this evening. So hats, the names are going to be put in the hats. And I'm going to draw our first winner. So keep it going. Also remember, hit up the YouTube channel and the website at freemycure.org. Thanks, guys. And don't forget, if you're in Arizona and surprise Arizona, come to Little Amsterdam. They have some awesome stuff. Bye. Bye. other videos to post with them. Very good. I forgot Paying about that one. Camera, I know. I forgot about that one. Is it? No, it's not. No, it's not.